45 seconds in count, 45 seconds to left. Standing by for the handoff. And the handoff has occurred. Ground loss sequencer hands it off to Atlantis' onboard computers. 25 seconds. Sales and pressure water system is activated. 15 seconds in count. PLS 10, 9, 8, 7, main engine. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lift off. Separation is confirmed. Two minutes, 15 seconds under the yeah. clock. And this is probably 2,000 miles per hour. Then range from the Kennedy Space Center, 46 miles, altitude 35 miles. In addition of the twin orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the orbiter, providing an additional boost toward ascent and heading off toward the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, two-engine pow. Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three engines are continuing to perform as expected. Hydraulic systems in excellent shape, as are the fuel cells producing the electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 97 miles downrange at an altitude of 51 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. 6,000. Views from the external tank uh, camera looking down the vehicle. Very quiet here in Mission Control as the flight control team continues to watch over all systems, everything uh, continuing to go very smoothly with Atlantis's voyage to the International Space Station. I lost it. Three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Look at the Atlantis, negative return. Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy 
Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three have continued to perform well, as are the hydraulic systems and the electricity producing fuel cells. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 175 miles downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 62 miles, now traveling 8,000 miles per hour. The twin orbital maneuvering system engines continue to provide an additional boost to Atlantis as it heads toward the International Space Station. That arms assist uh, should wrap up in the next uh, 15 seconds or so. All continue to go very smoothly with Atlantis's trip to the International Space Station. On board, uh, Rick Stoko in the forward left seat. Lee Archambault in the uh, forward right seat. Pat Forrester, the flight engineer between them. Steve Swanson serving as mission specialist number one, or number two. There you go. Ray Anderson on his way to the International Space Station to replace Sonny Williams. Atlanta, to ATO. Five minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines now, should one fail. However, all three are still performing as planned. You can still see it. Yeah, it's a little bit. Atlanta, single engine, Ox 3. Copy, single engine, Ox 3. Five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads-up position. The onboard guidance system putting Atlantis on a trajectory toward the International Space Station. Atlantis, single engine, Zaragoza 104. And that call uh, means that Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. <laughs> Pretty funny, sweetie. Yeah. And that call uh, indicates Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. All three continuing to perform as expected. Shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X, go for the pitch. <laughs> fuel from the external tank into the three space shuttle main engines is equal to that of draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. And that call from Tony Antonelli here in Mission Control indicating Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine now should two fail. All three engines are still performing as expected, approaching seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 19,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 640 miles, altitude 64 miles. Awaiting Atlantis' arrival, and with great anticipation, is the Expedition 15 crew. Board the International Space Station Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, Flight Engineer Oleg Kotov, and Flight Engineer Sonny Williams, who will come home aboard Atlantis after six months in space. Eight minutes into the flight, the engines are now trying to maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. We're standing by for the main engine cutoff confirmation from the booster officer here in Mission Control. Das ist eine gute Bilder gemacht eigentlich. Das ist der Hammer, das Bild. Ohne Scheiß. Ja, das ist einfach auch confirmed. 8 minutes 35 seconds in the flight. Das war auch gut. Sehr gut. Separation of the fuel tank has also been confirmed. The crew handheld photography setup will be underway shortly with a plus X maneuver that's managed by the commander on board, Rick Stoko. 
planets uh, flying away. You can see the thruster jets firing as the orbiter is being maneuvered for the uh, handheld photography. Atlanta, Houston, we show a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required. Yeah, I don't want to go to Ohms 1, not required. 